evening and welcome to the 117th commencement of Blaine High School, celebrating the class of 2023. The Star Spangled Banner will be performed by the Blaine High School Chamber Choir under the direction of Mr. Andy Marshall. Please be seated. Mr. Dan Steelquist, please stand. Mr. Steelquist attended Western Washington University and began his teaching career in 1987 and all 36 years were in the Blaine School District. During his teaching career, he taught 3rd, 4th, and 5th grades, 7th and 8th grade language arts, social studies, PE, AVID, math, and science. Mr. Steelquist also coached at Blaine for 37 years, including middle school baseball, middle school softball, middle school soccer, middle school volleyball, and as a head varsity boys soccer coach for 11 years, and head varsity girls soccer coach for six, 16 years, which amounts to 56 seasons of coaching. <laughs> Mr. Steelquist says it's been a fantastic ride. Thanks for all the support and great memories. Remember, stay curious. And as my dear friend, Captain Wingnut, oft, often says, be nice to each other. Mr. Steelquist, thank you for all your, all your years of service. Congratulations. Yeah. Neil Nix, please stand. Mr. Nix attended college at North Idaho College, the University of Montana, and Washington State University. Go Cougs! He has 41 years of, in education. He began teaching in 1980 and started at Blaine in 1985. His teaching assignments were AP English, AP Government, English 9 through 12, Geometry, Algebra, AP Economics, Humanities, Reading, Yearbook, Technology, Desktop Publishing, publishing, creative writing, and genre fiction, and build. Quite a bit. 
Here's his quote. All four of my kids have graduated from BHS. We are plain proud and always will be. Grapes can be dangerous. Never make fun of someone about something that may very well happen to you. Go gear up, go Avid, and he's very happy that Avid brought the middle school and high school closer together. Thank you, Mr. Nix, for all of your service. Bob Gray, please stand. Mr. Gray's in the back with the band. Mr. Gray attended college at Western Washington University and he got his master's from City University. He has 42 years in education. That's one more than Mr. Nix. He began teaching in 1981 and like Mr. Steelquist, he's taught here his entire career. That's right, all here. His teaching assignments have been his five years. He did first through fifth general music 42 years of 6th to 12th grade band. Unbelievable. Here's his quote. I have loved growing the band program and building the concept of the band family. All the trips and games and tours have been great, but the true gold has been in the connections established with band members over these many, many, many years. On behalf of Dorita and myself, thank you. Greg came to Blaine from Montana in 1942 to teach high school math and science. He also coached football for a while. Greg was a teacher for a, year, for a year and a half before being named principal in 1943. He remained the principal of the BHS until he retired in 1972. Our science building was named after him. He and his wife, Vienna, were supporters of all school and town activities. The Greg Campaign Outstanding Teacher Award was the first given out in 2005. This award is voted by the senior class. Last year's winner, Michael Gramble, will be presented to award to this year's winner, Bob Gray. Thank you all for joining us today to celebrate these graduates' accomplishments. My name is Bailey Wildermuth, and I am one of the salutatorians for the Blaine High School graduating class of 2023. The question we all get asked hundreds of times from day one on the first day of kindergarten is what do you want to be when you grow up? From that day forward, we look on into the future as to what do we want to do with the rest of our lives. Some of the answers we may have given were I want to be an astronaut or I want to be a mermaid. What we said when we wanted to be was always, wasn't always something feasible or real, but our teachers and mentors praised us and told us we could be anything we wanted to be. Our imaginations were allowed to go wherever we wanted. The answer to the question of what do you want to be when you grow up, for many of us has changed over and over again. For me, it was different almost every day. A big part of going through school is to learn and decide what you want to be when you grow up. But the question doesn't always stay the same. There's a time that it changes from what do you want to be when you grow up to what do you want to do. 
This is the point where we have grown up and we are getting ready to move on from this very long chapter in our lives into the real world with real adult responsibilities. It is not just the question that changes, but our response to it also changes. Many of us can now answer that question with confidence, others not so much. Some of us want to be business owners and engineers and others want to travel around the world. We all have gone through phases as we all have gone through phases as to what we want to do with our lives, those some may have always known. We have spent countless hours trying to answer the question of what do you want to do. But it is okay if you don't know, because now that we are leaving this place and going on our separate ways, we are ready to live our lives how we want to and what is right for us. In the words of Max Lerner, an American journalist and educator, the turning point in the process of growing up is when you discover the core strength within you that survives all hurt. We've all been through our own challenges, but now we are ready to leave this chapter of our lives and move on to the next. It will not be an easy chapter. It may be harder than the last, but it is all in the process of growing up. Because though we may be adults now, that doesn't mean we have stopped learning and growing. We have a lot more growing up to do. Good evening, families, faculty, and my fellow graduates. I am Sukhvir Kaur, and I feel very honored and blessed to be one of the salutarians today. I moved from India five years ago with my family. In the beginning, I felt like the new education system will be very hard for me to adapt to, and I will have a hard time fitting in because of my language barrier. But I would like to thank the Blaine School District and Mrs. Allison for making it a lot easier for me. I felt like I was welcomed and encouraged to be better. I appreciate their hard work in helping me improve my language skills. Throughout my journey, I had opportunities to learn a lot from them, and I was very excited to come to Blaine High School. But in our freshman year, we had to face a huge challenge, the COVID-19 pandemic. It was something none of us saw coming, and it took a lot of hard work and dedication for us to get here. So I would like to congratulate for all of us for such a big accomplishment. I would also like to thank our faculty and our families because we could not have done this without your love and support. Lastly, I wish best of luck to my fellow graduates for their future plans. It is great to all you have here. Thank you.
You can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman's man, no time to talk. The music's loud and women follow and kicked around since I was born. No Thank you, Mr. Marshall and the choir for that spectacular performance. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ava Kurtwright, and I am one of the 2023 valedictorians. First off, I would like to thank you all for coming out tonight. Thank you to all of the teachers that have spent countless hours trying to accommodate to each individual student. Thank you to the staff, custodians, and administration for keeping our schools clean, safe, and smooth running. Thank you to all of the parents and guardians for supporting us throughout this long and challenging journey. And lastly, thank you to the class of 2023. Watching us all grow into the people we are today has been an honor, and I'm so excited to see where we go from here. Every person in this room has helped us get to the point where we are today, and I can speak on behalf of my class when I say that we are so grateful for all that you have done. Four years ago, I stood in front of all of you and gave a few words of advice before we headed into high school. Today, I stand in front of you one last time before we head into the real world. As we go on with our lives, whether you're going to a university, a community college, the military, or the workforce, take every step with ambition every step with pride, every step with hard work and determination. We have all worked so hard to get through high school and are now being released into the real world. Be proud of yourself. While this journey may have been a challenge, the real journey is just beginning. You have made it this far, keep going. Use this time to find out who you are and who you want to be. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Be that person that you look up to. Throughout high school, we've gone from awkward and scrawny teenagers to icons on a computer, and now to young adults who are being thrown into the world and expected to know exactly what to do. I'm sure many of my seniors know that this is a very scary feeling, but a man by the name of Aaron Sorkin once said, the world doesn't care how many times you fall down, as long as it's one fewer than the number of times you get back up. Don't be afraid to take risks. Take every step with intent and passion. It's okay if you fall down, just remember to get back up. We are all here to help pick you up along the way. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. Uh, good evening, uh, staff, students, and families. My name is Sylvie Lozier, and I am proud to be a valedictorian for our class. When I look back on the one thing I'm most proud of as a student, the first thing I think of is how much I've grown as a person over the years, and I have all of my classmates to thank for that. When I was younger, and I mean all the way back in elementary school, I strived to be the best student. I wanted the top grades, and I wanted to be labeled as the smartest. I loved being recognized for my academic achievements. But as time passed, I realized how insignificant being smart is. As Hermione Granger said in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, <laughs> books and cleverness, there are more important things like friendship and bravery. In high school, I truly learned the meaning of the importance of friendship and bravery. I saw all the people around me stepping out of their comfort zone, expressing themselves and taking new opportunities. I saw how everyone was growing into themselves and I tried to learn how to become more like them. I'm a shy person, but when I finally decided to challenge myself and reach out to other people, my quality of life suddenly increased. A lot of people that I grew up with for years became more than classmates. Now, 
I'm proud to say that I'm not gr just graduating with a bunch of people, but with a bunch of friends. I have met some of the kindest, most caring people in my class. I don't know what most of my classmates will accomplish after high school ends. I don't know if anyone will invent a time machine or find the remains of a unicorn fossil from millions of years ago, but I am certain that the positive impact that my classmates had on me during school will be translated to their lives outside of school. Personally, I think that the friendship and bravery that my class displays is far greater of an accomplishment than any academia or profound discovery will go on to do in the future. So congratulations to everyone who's graduating today. I'm excited to see the wonderful impact you all make in the years to come. I'm excited about who you were and who you're becoming. Most of all, I'm excited to step into the future with all of you. to represent the class of 2023 as one of four valedictorians. Getting me here to make this speech has honestly been a two-man job, the other man being Maddie Ernst. <laughs> I also, of course, majorly credit this to my family. They have always been supportive of my dreams, and it was their support that kept me on track to achieving my goals. I am proud that my class kept on track to graduation too, despite the numerous setbacks we faced together, even if it is cliche. None of the last four years have been normal. Even this year, after the worst of COVID has passed, knock on wood, it feels like we never had a regularly scheduled day of classes. Most days, we were split between those who took a picture of the schedule that was written on the board each morning and those who asked whoever was sitting next to them when class ended. <laughs> and being as small of a class as we are, most of us have known each other for more than 10 years. I know that in the long run, that isn't much time, but right now, it is more than half the time we've been alive. I personally can hardly remember life without my 2023 graduates. We have grown together, we have learned from each other, and we have watched each other become our own people. Many of us have been friends with each other at one point or another, even if it was only briefly. Because of this, reaching the end of this chapter feels bittersweet. We have become so used to and comfortable with each other, but now it is time to break away from this little bubble of familiarity and move on to the next phases of our lives on our own. In this next phase, I hope that this class carries the lessons we have learned with us as we move forward in our lives. If we learned anything together, it was to advocate for ourselves. We have always been told that our voices could be heard and we could make a real difference, but we have truly experienced that and what it really meant these last four years. Many of us have become involved in movements and advocated for the things we stand for or even just advocated for ourselves within the school. I hope that we all continue to take charge and to push for positive changes it is our turn to lead, and I know we're going to make it really count. As we navigate the real world after today, please remember the world, words of Nelson Mandela. We can change the world and make it a better place. It is on our hands to make a difference. I wish the best of luck to the, all of the 2023 graduates across the world and on their life path, whether they are work, continuing their schooling, entering the workforce, or entering the military. It has been an honor to spend this chapter of my life with Blaine, and I look forward to seeing the class of 2023 again in 10 years. Good evening. My name is Hope Guida, and I am honored to be recognized as a valedictorian this year. If I could leave you with one piece of advice, it would be to enjoy the adventure. I have come to love adventures over the course of these last couple years, and I have found that I can relate re adventure lessons to life. We hear the phrase, life's an adventure, quite often. While this is true, I also think instead of life being thought of as one long adventure, life is a series of many adventures, depending on the seasons we go through. Today marks the end of one adventure and the beginning of the next. We've experienced highs and lows over the last 13 years, but we are finally here today, graduating. And on that note, there are three takeaways I would like to share with you tonight as part of this commencement into the next chapter. First of all, adventures are risky yet thrilling. You're never sure what the outcome will be, but that's what makes it exciting. For this reason, you don't want to travel alone. Not only for the reason that there is some riskiness involved, but also to simply enjoy the time and your surroundings with someone else. This is the same with life. 
It's a little risky sometimes, but that's why it's important to have supporters who are involved. Second, on an adventure, it is important to have a guide who knows what they are doing. No matter what the adventure, we might not have the full breadth of knowledge needed to complete the adventure successfully and stay safe. I have gone rafting a couple of times, and there is no way I would have been successful if I tried to do it with my own knowledge. This is why guides or experts are important. They know exactly where to hit the rapids so we don't run into rocks and pop the raft or get pushed by the current into an eddy, all while still having a fun experience. In life, I found Jesus Christ to be my faithful, steady guide who I can turn to and knows exactly what to do to help me navigate the twists and turns in the path. Not only that, my family, friends, and mentors I surround myself with have been great encouragement to me. I encourage you, find your guide, someone who has been around longer and knows a little bit more and will always be there for you. Finally, on an adventure, it is important to not forget your goal. When you go for a hike, kayak, or camp in the wilderness, there's always a goal or personal accomplishment you wish to achieve. In life, it is important to set goals to reach for as well and then not lose sight of them. With a new adventure beginning, think about what is coming next and what your goal might be for this season. As humans, we strive to check off boxes and accomplish goals we set. So no matter what comes next, set goals and set the bar high if needed, because that will ultimately make us better, more successful people. We may not know the path our adventure will take or what might be around the next corner, and that is okay. But I encourage you, as we are standing here looking towards the future, surround yourself with close adventure buddies, find a guide to help and encourage you, and set a goal so this adventure will be a success. I would like to end with a blessing for our class of 2023 as we head into this next adventure. If you were baccalaureate last Wednesday night, it might sound familiar. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look with favor on you and give you peace. Enjoy the adventure, y'all. Will all the students who have already received an award or scholarship on recognition night please stand? All of these outstanding young men and women have set a standard for Blaine students for years to come, and we are extremely proud of them. All of their awards and scholarships are listed in your program, and we will invite you to read through them. Let's give them a rounding rouse of applause. We will now announce awards and scholarships which were not announced at recognition night. Jillian Ray and Kale Evinger, please stand. These students are the recipients of the WIAA Cliff Gillies Student Athlete Award. Congratulations, congratulations Jillian and Kale. Hope Wida, please stand. Hope is the winner of the 2022-23 Female Athlete of the, War of the Year Award. Congratulations, Hope. Hope, stand up again. <laughs> Hope has been awarded both a trustee scholarship and a preferred admin scholarship from Colorado Christian University. She has also received the Hannah DeShell Memorial Scholarship from Dollars for Scholars, as well as the Whatcom County Firefighters Benevolent Foundation Scholarship. Congratulations, Hope. Sophia Delagati, please stand. 
Sophia has been recognized as an academic scholar at Linfield University. Congratulations. Shaylee Renskers, please stand. Shaylee was chosen as a Kurt Mayberry Farm Senior Spotlight Scholarship winner. Congratulations, Shaylee. Samantha Lundy, please stand. Samantha is the recipient of the Ferris Family Scholarship. Congratulations, Samantha. Bailey Meyer and Shaylin Shields, please stand. <laughs> Bailey and Shaylin have been recognized as a Regent Scholarship recipients from Washington State University. Congratulations, Bailey and Shaylin. Go Cougs! Arman Gruwal, please stand. Armen is a recipient of the UNCK Scholarship. Congratulations. Bianca Holguin, please stand. <laughs> Bianca has received both an Admissions Achievement Award and a Music Scholarship from Western Washington University. Congratulations, Bianca. Bailey Wildermuth, please stand. <laughs> Bailey has been awarded a Merit Scholarship and the Summit Scholarship from George Fox University. Congratulations, Bailey. <laughs> Alyssa Bacon, please stand. Alyssa has earned a softball scholarship to play at Skagit Valley College. Congratulations, Alyssa. Sukhvir Carr, please stand. Sukhvir has been awarded a scholarship from Transocean Products. Congratulations. Adia Twitchell, please stand. Adia has been awarded an Admissions Achievement Scholarship Award from Western Washington University. Congratulations, Adia. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present the graduation class of 2023. <laughs> Dr. Christopher Granger, Superintendent and Secretary of the Board, I hereby assert, based upon the recommendation of the faculty, the students before you have successfully completed the high school graduation requirements as established by the State Board of Education pursuant to the Revised Code of Washington. Dr. Granger. Good evening. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Washington, vested in me by the Board of Directors, and acting upon the recommendation of the administration and faculty of Blaine High School, I accept the graduates of the class of 2023 who have completed their high school requirements and grant them the diploma of graduation with all rights and privileges. Congratulations.
Chance Hamill London. Chance plans to head to Western Washington University during the winter of 2023. Will plans on taking a gap year. Genesis Naomi Vasquez. Genesis will be grad. Genesis will be graduating with her AA degree from Whatcom Community College next week and then headed to Washington State University to pursue a career in the veterinary field. If this doesn't work out, she'll become a trophy wife. Bailey Wildermuth. <laughs> Bailey plans to attend George Fox University to pursue a degree in engineering. Sukhvir Kar. Sukhvir plans to attend Washington Whatcom Community College to pursue a career in nursing. Hope Kathleen Wida. Hope will be attending Colorado Christian University where she'll participate in the Augustine Honors Program while pursuing a bachelor's degree in nursing and biblical studies. Keely Taylor. <laughs> Keely plans to attend Oregon State University to pursue a degree in zoology. Sylvie Chieco Lossier. <laughs> Sylvie will attend the University of Washington to study biology or some other natural science. Ava Grace Kurtwright. Ava plans to attend Montana State University Billings to play soccer and study health and human performance to become a physical therapist. <laughs> Anthony Kolbach. Anthony will be going into the welding trade. Emma Jean Rose Wider. Emma will be taking a gap year to travel and pursue the arts professionally. Carly Ann Adams. Carly Ann plans to attend Evergreen State College to pursue a career in art and history. Mark Agaev. 
Mark will continue his mentorship to pursue business. Joaquin Alejandra. Joaquin will attend the transitions program here at Blaine and be working at the school next year. Bryce Armstrong. Bryce will enter the workforce. Josh Audet. Josh will attend Western Washington University. Alyssa Bacon. <laughs> Alyssa will be attending Skagit Valley College to pursue a degree in business and play softball before transferring to the University of Montana for her final two years. Thevis Ball. Thevis will be attending Western Washington University to pursue a career in business. Joel Barrientos Estrada. Joel will be attending Bellingham Technical College to study nursing. Haley Beaver. Haley will attend the, the Blaine School District's Transitions Program next fall. Colby Boyer. Colby plans to go into an apprenticeship program with Matrix to become a welder. Micah Brandt. Micah will be working locally this summer and pursuing a career in the culinary field. Brielle Marie Bridges. Bri Brielle plans on working in the trades next year. Monica Brooks Delgado. Monica will be attending Whatcom Community College next year to pursue a two-year degree in education. Grant Calder. Grant plans to work at Chuckanut Bay Foods. Liam Callow. <laughs> Liam will be attending the Evergreen State College. Alex Satchel Sensali. <laughs> Alex plans to continue working and explore many business related internships. Raul Kutapu Chandran. Yeah. Raul will be attending Washington State University to pursue a career in nursing. Go Cougs! Camden Clark. Camden plans to attend Bellingham Technical College to become a radiology technician. Naomi Klein. <laughs> Naomi will be attending Evergreen Beauty College in 2025. Yeah. 
Noah Cook. <laughs> Noah plans to attend Whatcom Community College next spring to pursue his goal of becoming a nurse. Lawrence Creasy Pulfus. Lawrence plans to attend Central Washington University to study kinesiology. Carter Davies Jorgensen. <laughs> Carter will join the United States military as a Calvary Scout. Logan Davis. Logan will take a gap year and then start an apprenticeship with the Laborers International Union of North America. Sophia Delegati. Sophia will be attending Linfield University in McMillanville, Oregon to study marine biology. Aiden Dement. Aiden will be entering the workforce. Shai Deming. Shy plans to live her life. Ashton Wayne Dominic. Ashton plans to join Customs Border Patrol after he completes two more years of the Explorer program. Tyler Durkin. Tyler will pursue labor opportunities in the Seattle area. London Egan. London will attend Bellingham Technical College next fall to become an electrician. Madeline Ernst. <laughs> Maddie plans to attend Washington State University to pursue a degree in envi environmental science. Go Cougs! Connor Evans. Connor plans to attend the Washington State University to study environmental economics. Go Cougs! Kale Evinger. Kale will attend Bellingham Technical College for welding. Christopher Walter Foster. Christopher, Christopher plans to take an entrepreneurial approach to the workforce. Trevor Goltz. Trevor will be haying this summer, then he will find a shop to work in. Devin Verde Wayne Green. Devin will attend Western Washington University next fall to study journalism.
Armin Gruwal. Armin plans to pursue her bachelor's in biochemistry at Western Washington University while finishing her prerequisites for pharmacy. Annika Hagen. Annika plans to attend Central Washington University to study pre-physical therapy. Brooklyn Marie Henderson. Brooklyn will continue working until she figures out her next path in school. Tori Britt Henry. Tori plans to enter the workforce. Anthony Hirsch. Anthony will attend Bellingham Technical College to study electrical engineering. Bianca Holguin. Bianca plans to attend Western Washington University and major in biology and later attend the Curtis Institute of Music and major in flute performance. Vance J. Hoptowit. Vance will enlist in the Marine Corps in August. Zvena Fruitfjord. Zvena plans to attend Tacoma Community College to pursue a career in health, health information technology. Julia Hubbard Maxey. Julia plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue a degree in early childhood education. Damian Jackson. Damian will attend Washington State University to study apparel design and continue playing music. Go Cougs! Madeline Jacoboskas. Madeline will be attending college in California this fall. Justice Joy. Justice plans to attend Bellingham Technical College to pursue a career in radiation technology. Jacob Karninen. <laughs> Jacob will attend Western Washington University for a degree in electrical engineering. Bob G. Carr. Bob G. plans to join the United States Air Force for your four years of active duty. Lauren King. Lauren will be attending Central Washington University to study aviation as a commercial pilot. Kat Kiryukin. Kat plans to work with the Army National Guard. Landon Klander. Landon plans to join the Pipe Fitters Union when he turns 18. Ethan Koreski. Ethan will attend Western Washington University to pursue a degree in economics. Haley Larson. 
Haley will be attending Western Washington University. Arlette Lazo Ramos. Arlette plans to start a career in radiology at Bellingham Technical College. Jesus Lazo. Jesus will be attending Bellingham Technical College next fall to study nursing. Carson Leonard. Carson plans to attend Douglas College to play basketball and study sports science. Leanne Joy Luciano. Leanne plans to attend Bellingham Technical College to pursue a career as a radiology technician. Samantha Lottie Lundy. Samantha will attend another quarter at Whatcom Community College to finish her AA degree, then transfer to the Fashion Institute of Technology in New York City. Jenica Lungu. Jenica will attend Boise State University to pursue a career in business. Kaylee McLeod. Kaylee plans to attend Kwantlen Polytech University in the fall to pursue a career in nursing. Topher Mangioni. Topher will attend Bellingham Technical College next fall to study computer software support. Adrian Marquez. Adrian plans to take a gap year to do some traveling, then enroll in a community college. Ryder May. Ryder plans to attend Bellingham Technical College for his associate's degree. Fabian Mendoza. <laughs> Fabian will attend Bellingham Technical College for the electrician program. <laughs> Bailey Meyer. Bailey plans to attend Washington State University for a business degree. Go Cougs. Kyle Miller. <laughs> Kyle will be working at Enfield Farms this summer. Owen Millsap. Owen plans to attend Montana State University in Bozeman to major in music technology. Tykin Morris. Tykin plans to move to Burlington and apply for the IBEW Electrician Apprenticeship Program. Robert Mott Prado. Robert will be attending Wacom Community College, then transferred to a university. Piper Nissen. Ah! 
Piper will attend Edmonds College on a softball athletic scholarship or to pursue a career in education. Hannah Nyland. <laughs> Hannah will be attending Wacom Community College to study psychology. Kumara Marie Ostos. Kamara plans to go to the safe and sober party after graduation. Milo Pangelinen. Milo will be attending Bellingham Technical College to pursue a career in engineering. Om Patel. Om plans to attend Western Washington University to study business and pursue a career in real estate. Mayuko Calisto Pereira. Mayuko plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue a career in accounting. Emma Pettit. <laughs> Emma will be joining the workforce next year. Shelby Pettit. <laughs> Shelby plans to attend Washington State University to study ecology and evolutionary science while minoring in business. Go Cougs. David James Pearson. James plans on, plans on joining the National Guard next year. Justin Plushikoff. Justin plans to attend Bellingham Technical College to become an electrician. Lard David Alexander Polverari Montgomery III. <laughs> David will work for a year, then apply to film school. Timothy Palmeroy. <laughs> Timothy plans to go to the University of Washington to study nursing. Antonia Louise Quinto. Antonia will be attending the University of Nevada, Las Vegas this upcoming fall as a nursing major to pursue a career in healthcare. Nathan Scott Rom. Nathan plans to help others by attending Wacom Community College to become a police officer. Alessandro Rangel Robles. <laughs> Alessandro will attend Watkin Community College next year to pursue a degree in psychology and plans to play soccer. Jillian Hannah Ray. Jillian will attend the University of British Columbia to study food and nutrition. Shaylee Elizabeth Renskers. Yeah. 
Shea plans to work at the refinery, then next year attend Bellingham Technical College for the welding program. Riker Renault. Riker will continue his education. Simon Rebus. Simon plans to go straight into the workforce. Christina Roby. Christina plans to attend Western Washington University to pursue a degree in journalism. Jake Roybel. Jake will be on the pursuit of happiness after high school. Richard Ruiz. Richard will be taking a gap year. Matt Russ. Matt will play basketball at Skagit Valley College and study business. Jack Russell. Jack plans to attend Whatcom Community College and wants to major in the medical field. Christopher Michael Schrader. Chris plans on taking a break from school and joining the workforce. Mackenzie C. Mackenzie plans to pursue a career in Customs and Border Protection. Maya Serrano. Maya will take the next year off to volunteer with AmeriCorps. Taya Seymour. Taya plans to have a job in the community. Shaylin Danielle Shields. <laughs> Shaylin plans to attend Washington State University to pursue a career in interior design. Go Cougs. Lucas Smith. Lucas plans to play basketball in Florida for one year, then he will attend Benedictine University to play basketball and study business management. Kirsten Zvena Soto. <laughs> Kirsten plans to attend the University of Coastal Georgia to pursue a major in nursing. Leah Stacy. <laughs> Leah plans on attending Evergreen Beauty School to pursue a career in hair design. Soren Stanley. Soren will be pursuing a teaching degree for music. Raylynn Story. Raylynn will be attending Western Washington University to pursue a career in journalism. Kenton Stewart. Kenton is moving to Costa Rica to coach youth soccer and continue playing soccer.
Ethan Templeton. Ethan will be attending Western Washington University to study computer science. Keller Thornton. Yeah, Keller! Keller will be joining the workforce. Sawyer Van Kirk. Sawyer plans to attend Bellingham Technical College for the electrician program. Jacob Voigt. Jacob plans to attend Bellingham Technical College to pursue a career in diesel mechanics. Jack Walker. Jack will be taking a gap year in order to learn to survive outside of school. Sophia Marie Wallace. Sophia plans on joining the Army National Guard to become a trauma surgeon. Julian Warner Troop. Julian plans on finishing his combat medic training with the Army National Guard. Glenn Whitney. Glenn will be attending Whatcom Community College to pursue a career in nursing. Aaliyah Wilson. Aaliyah will be attending the University of Washington in the fall to major in business. Devin Witt. Devin will try to have as much fun as possible. Lucas Waddell. Lucas is still determining his plans. Jackson Edward Wright. Jackson is off to join Border and Customs. Gabriel Donovan Wiley. Gabriel will be attending the University of Washington to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. Sojo Yang. Sandy will be attending the University of Washington. Jasmine Young. Jasmine plans on attending Whatcom Community College and figuring out her next plan. Sydney Young. Sydney will take a gap year and get a job. Evelina Urevi. Evelina will be graduating with her associate's degree from Wacom Community College and plans on getting her bachelor's in criminology at Gonzaga University. Kaiden Zadik. <laughs> Kaiden hasn't decided his plans yet, so stay tuned.
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2023.